Welcome back and join me as I struggle to get the kayak down to the river as we take a short paddle of the River Waveney. Hello folks, welcome back. <clears throat> I brought my dead cat with me this time as it's still windy so hopefully the audio in this vlog doesn't suck quite as much as the last one so I apologise for that. Um, <clears throat> we're down not far from my house uh, up the river Waveney and uh, as you can see from the sign back there that's new the river Waveney Trust have been busy down here so when I was down here over winter there was a tree that had been there for ages straight across here which made uh, paddling less than desirable because it literally went from there across the uh, river which um, meant that if you came this way you had to get in get straight back out in the water to get your boat over the um, over the tree so that's that thankfully that's gone and i also noticed upstream some of them are gone so i'm going to take a paddle downstream I'm going to see as far as we get see what uh, wildlife we can see um this is a very unknown portage point because it's great when there's no trees in the water i mean it's well made it's in the middle of this lovely woodland um which at this time of year is uh, Nekai with uh, stinging nettles. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's great. So I'm gonna change my clothes quickly, get the boat in the water, and then we're gonna set off and see where we get to. Come along for the ride. The section of the River Wave we're on today is a small section between the towns of Dis and Bungie. This section itself meanders behind the small town of Needham and alongside the larger town of Halston. The River Waveney between the towns of Dis and Bungay unfurls a mesmerising tapestry of natural beauty, rich history and engaging activities. This stretch of river spans approximately 20 miles, although of course today we're on a much smaller section, threading through a vivid landscape that captures the quintessential charm of the East Anglia's countryside. In Dis, the river's serene presence is reflected in the town's main attraction, the stunning Dis Mere. This six-acre lake, believed to have been formed during the Ice Age, nestles within the heart of the town, providing an idyllic black backdrop for leisurely walks or quiet contemplation. From here, the Waveney meanders away, beginning its journey towards Bungie through the lush green fields and quintessential English villages like Needham. In the expanse between Dis and Bungie, the River Waveney winds through a landscape replete with gentle slopes, patchwork fields and dense woodland, creating a spectacular natural panorama like you see here. This region, known as the Waveney Valley, is noted for its exceptional biodiversity. It offers a haven for a wide variety of bird species including kingfishers, marsh harriers and herons which can often be spotted darting over the water or perched on overhanging branches.
The River Waveney Trust puts a lot of effort into maintaining the biodiversity of this waterway whilst allowing us to navigate it using small boats like this. The river's course also leads it through a series of charming settlements. One such town is Halston, a historic market town with a rich heritage and vibrant community. With its well-preserved medieval buildings and traditional market square, Halston is a reminder of the time-honoured rhythms of rural life. Further along, the hamlet of Brockdish and the villages of Needham and Mendham offer captivating insights into East Anglian history and tradition. Apart from uh, the apart from the distant hum of the road, sections of this river, especially up here at the sort of far end of the River Waveney, where there aren't that many water boatsmen, water sports people, um, it's utterly serene. Sadly, there is the bypass. But uh, um, the, the warble of birds, the lapping of the water when the wind picks up and the wind in the trees, it's um, something quite special about having it on your doorstep. As the river approaches Bungie, it becomes a focal point for recreational activities. The waters around Ootney Common are a popular spot for angling, while the tranquil river, river banks provide excellent opportunities for peaceful strolls, picnics and bird watching. There's also several scenic routes for canoeing and kayaking, providing a unique way to experience the river's beauty up close. This is something we'll look at in a future episode. Bungie itself is a jewel nestled in the banks of the Waveney, a town rich in history, it boasts the ruins of Norman Bungie Castle, the beautiful St Mary's Church and the renowned Fisher Theatre, one of the oldest provincial theatres in the UK. The river here offers splendid views of the town and surrounding countryside, particularly from the famed Bungie Loop, a circular walk around the watercourse. Between Dis and Bungie, the River Waveney provides a capt captivating blend of nature, history and recreational possibilities. Whether one wishes to explore the charming towns and villages, immerse themselves in the abundant wildlife or partake in water-based activities, this stretch of the river has something to offer everyone. It's a place where time slows down, encouraging visitors to unwind and relish the delights of rural East Anglia. The River Waveney in this region truly embodies the spirit of the countryside, its ever-changing moods echoing the rhythms of the seasons and the continuous cycle of life.
So amazingly, that was the uh, furthest I've ever got downstream, um, which is pretty cool. Normally there's deadfall and duckweed and all sorts. I'm sure the duckweed will still come when the summer kicks in, but um, it was nice. It was nice to be able to get all the way, but I have been thwarted by another portage point. I think it's portage point, but or something. I don't think I pronounce it right, but portage point seems about right to me. So people can correct me in the comments. Um, but I hoped you liked that little trip. I figured I would just walk down to see why it says no canoeing because it sounds quite noisy. I'm not going to take the canoe, the kayak, um, further today. I'll leave that for another day, knowing that I can get this far is quite good just to get out and about. Um, <clears throat> we're going to see this weir. I'll turn this way so you can see me. I'm going to um, have a look at this weir to see why it says no canoeing, and I think I can understand why. It's reasonably fast, fast flowing and there's a decent drop, um, which is why it says no canoeing. Ah. Let's climb up here, get a better view. It's beautiful down here though. I mean, you can see it running down the, down the weir and it opens out. There we go. Opens out into this lovely area. Um, which we will explore another day. Let's see what the path round is. Half the time these, because no one comes down here, they're covered in nettles. I guess you just bring it round here. Driven by the footprints. Drop the boat back in there. Looks a bit um, looks a bit boggy though. Um, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yes. So we'll leave that for another time. <coughs> um, yeah. <coughs> We'll leave that for another time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little trip uh, down the River Waveney, uh, or a little, you know, mile or so stretch of the River Waveney. Um, this is the top end, or you know, towards the top end. Uh, we will investigate other bits of it as the summer progresses. But um, yeah, this is. This is my local patch. This is where I get to hang out and play, uh, play kayaking. I'm not a very good kayaker, but it does get me out and about doing some physical exercise. Uh, so if you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.